This is one of multiple videos teaching you network programmability using Python and GNS3. Now, in the previous video, we created switch one script two dot py and I told you that it's inefficient to create a VLANs in this way on a switch. Now it works. So as an example, we can use the command s1 script2.py and the script will telnet to the switch and create various VLANs but it's an inefficient way of adding uh, VLANs or doing repetitive work. Let's see if we can clear up this code and do it better. Now to do that, we're gonna create a loop. A loop is essentially telling the computer to do something for a certain amount of time. So in this example, I'm gonna do a range. I'm gonna say, do the following in the range two to 10. Now, in Python, spacing is very important. Think about how the Cisco IOS works or the IOS of many networking devices work. When we're looking at code, so as an example, this code or configuration, if you prefer, of a Cisco router, do you agree that this space is very important? This space indicates that this IP address is configured under this loopback. All of this code here belongs to this interface and so forth and so on. We know that this network command belongs under the OSPF routing process. If I try to type network 0, .0, .0, .0 here in global configuration mode, the router doesn't accept it. That space is telling us that this piece of code or configuration belongs under the routing process. This code belongs under this interface. So use that as an analogy for what we're doing here. The code that we're now gonna write belongs under the for loop. So what we're gonna write to the switch is VLAN space plus N plus carriage return. So those two lines will allow us to replace the code that we've got here. What I'll do is paste that back, but notice I'm gonna press tab. And what we wanna do here is say plus N plus carriage return. Now when we run this script, it's gonna fail because this is an integer and this is a string. And I'll talk about that in a moment. But essentially what we've done is we've replaced all of this code with three lines. And we can extend that by, for instance, doing two to 20. So what I'll do is I'll save that code and I'll run it, but notice the problem when we run the code. We told that line 23 in our script, in other words, this line, is mixing strings and integers. So I'll run Python directly and notice what we told when we enter type one in brackets. We told that this is an integer. Type David, that's a string or type this way is a string. But type, let's say 1.5, is a floating value. Integers are whole numbers. Floating numbers, as an example, allow us to have fractions in our numbers. Now we're told, once again, that we can't mix string and integer objects. So we're not gonna let that stop us. What we're gonna do here is change the integer to a string. 
and all we're going to do is type string or str and brackets around that n to change it to a string value and save the script. Now on the switch at the moment, show VLAN shows us that we have Ethernet VLANs 1 to 8 configured. We're not going to worry about token ring and FTDI. But what happens when we run our script? So David put the password in and notice what happens. It's creating VLANs 2 to 9. So previously we had 1 to 8. Now show VLAN brief shows us that we have a VLAN 9. And this is the power of loops. If we want to add, let's say, a VLANs 2 to 20, we simply change that one value, run our script again. Notice it's created a VLANs 2 to 19. So show VLAN brief. Notice the VLANs are created. And one thing I should say is, if we want to create 2 to 20, we need to add one extra value there. So let's run the script again. This is the great thing about programming. If you make a mistake, you can just correct it. And what's great with GNS3 is you can actually see what your program or script is doing. So notice we have VLAN 20 created. So it was as simple as that to write a script that creates a multiple VLANs on a Cisco switch. It's not a very long script. It only has a few lines in it. Let's be a little bit ridiculous now, and this is the power of programming. I'll create 100 VLANs on our switch. So run the script again, and while that's running in the background, notice the VLANs are being created. We can see 27 VLANs now, 32 VLANs. Now we're at 36. Now you may say that you could copy and paste from an Excel spreadsheet, but remember with loops, we can now create loops within loops. So what we could do is rather than just connecting to one switch, we can loop across multiple switches and run this code across multiple switches. Hope you enjoyed this video. If it was of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.